The Aunt Katrina began as a kind of pilgrimage, a journey back to my hometown in the aftermath of Katrina to see the place, the people, and to make sense of what was lost and what remained of this place that had been my childhood home. What happened when I went there is that I saw things that I hadn't quite expected about myself, for one, and about the people who were caught up in this devastating aftermath. And the story ended up being something I hadn't expected at all. My great-grandparents arrived on the Mississippi Gulf Coast around the turn of the 20th century, which was very close to the same time that the city of Gulfport got its charter. Because of that, my family history is very tied up in the history of the town of Gulfport, its development and its devastation. And that story continues in Beyond Katrina as my brother's life is tied up and woven inextricably to the devastation of the hurricane in 2005. His story, I think, becomes emblematic of the kind of losses that people suffered and are still suffering as the Mississippi Gulf Coast struggles to recover now five years after the largest natural disaster in American history. So in many ways, Beyond Katrina is also about historical memory, the kinds of things that we keep, we erect monuments to and keep alive in our memory. One of the things that I learned when I made the journey back was just how distant I had become from this place that had been my home. And I learned in many ways that I was guilty of the same kind of forgetting, the same kind of historical erasure that people on the Mississippi Gulf Coast are most worried about. I think this is a poem that speaks to that distance that has grown between me and my hometown. Prodigal. Once I was a daughter of this place, daughter of Gwen, granddaughter of Loretta, great of Eugenia McGee. I was baptized in the church my great aunt founded, behind the drapes my grandmother sewed. As a child, I dozed in the pews and woke to chant the Lord's Prayer, mouthing the lines I did not learn. Still a girl, I put down the red flower and wore a white bloom pinned to my chest, the mark of loss, a motherless child. All the elders knew who I was, recalled me each time I came home and spoke my ancestors' names. Sugar, Sun Dixon, a native tongue. What is home but a cradle of the past? Too long gone, I found my key in the lock of the old house will not turn. A narrative of rust, and everywhere the lacuna of vacant lots for sale signs, a notice reading condemned. I'm only going.